Hello, this is Hamid and in this session I'm gonna teach you how to set up the uh, Kali Linux in Palo Alto and uh, we're gonna actually have a, a kind of configuration for a Kali to pass the traffic from the Palo Alto and reach to the internet. So let's say this one is in the local area network and this side is outside of your network and uh, if you have watched the previous video we have already configured the management port and the Kali here is a kind of um, the kind of machine for uh, managing the Palo Alto firewall so the IP address of this Kali Linux is 192.168.1.2 that in previous video I have configured uh, this step. Uh, so now uh, I just want to configure some steps uh, for this Kali for Ethernet 1.1. So I connect to the Palo Alto and go to network and then interfaces uh, you can see that we have here the Ethernet so for Ethernet 1.1 I want to set the IP address as uh, because by default this interface type is tab I change it to layer 3 and now in the layer 3 we have IPv4 section and in the IPv4 section I can enter the IP address 192.16.10.1.24 and what else we should configure you should configure the virtual router for your uh, Ethernet 1 1 so here I will configure the virtual router later now um, I go to security zone and here I can uh, create this new zone here uh, and there is section here again below the interfaces you can go to zones and create a new zone so I create a new zone here because this one is inside I call it inside and okay that so now this interface is in security zone of inside and the IP address is set as 116 172.16.10.1 so and this one is okay what else do we configure in Ethernet? So here's I just write it here because uh, in the future we want to write more configuration. One seventy two sixteen ten one slash twenty four for this one, and I want to create this one as 172.16.10.2 slash 24 so uh, just go to Kali Linux and here and the network interfaces uh, wired settings and this I click on the gears IPv4 manual and 172 16 10 2 255 2 5 oops, 5 and 172 16 10 one is our gateway so disconnect connect the interface 
now if you look at the gear you can click on the gear um, we have this IP address here perfect uh, so for Ethernet uh, one two because this one is our NAT I want to configure this Ethernet as a DHCP client so I again go to my management Kali and here for Ethernet 1.2 I set again interface type as uh, layer 3 and in IPv4 tab we have DHCP client I set it as a DHCP client and something else here again I set the virtual router as default security zone I created security zone because the other side is outside I call it outside and now I have two zones and Ethernet 1 slash 2 is uh, in the outside zone perfect now I can commit my configuration here so I commit my configuration just uh, wait for a second and if you look at here um, we have two interfaces now if you look at uh, the DHCP IP interface we get the IP address from the NAT and this is our default gateway so that's that one is really important and I'm gonna use this default gateway here in virtual router so in virtual router you click on the default and after that uh, you have the option which is called static route so in a static route um, I click on add and uh, here I call this one default route so I I would say any traffic any traffic so I can say it uh, 0, 0, 0, 0 and the interface that is coming to interface uh, 1 slash 2 so my next hub IP address is going to be 192.168.1221 and this is the IP address that uh, I showed you uh, in the DHCP binding IP address so now you click on OK and then OK OK so I made a mistake here I think uh, I need one zero yeah so now we have set the default route so um, any traffic that is coming to interface one two we're saying go go to this um, the traffic pass through this uh, Ethernet one two and reach to the NAT through the static route now uh, we should define uh, the policy and the NAT because by default any traffic is passing from the firewall is blocked and we should say that any traffic from Ethernet 1.1 or the inside zone to outside zone is allowed so again I go to my Kali Linux and the management Kali Linux and I will go to policy security and add here I can add a new policy so 
I call this one internet and this is my internet for uh, local connection so I would say that any the inside zone my source is gonna be inside zone and my destination is gonna be the outside and I'm saying any application uh, the action should be allow and here I can say the logs at the session start and at the end um, and then I click OK so now any traffic is passing from the inside zone to outside zone is allowed the other thing I should consider here because this IP address it should translate to 192.168.1221 so this range of IP address is not uh, as the same as the Ethernet 1.2 so I use NAT so I go again here to my uh, Palo Alto device and here I use the NAT I click on add and uh, I call this one NAT inside so the original packet it is coming from the inside and the destination zone is gonna be outside and we are using any interface and because we are using the source destination NAT we are saying uh, the dynamic IP and port and interface that is translating this dynamic inter uh, IP address is going to be Ethernet 1.2 so any traffic that is coming here and any IP address is coming here is translated to a port 1.2 1 slash 2 so here I select the one Ethernet 1 slash 2 and the IP address is none so now I commit this configuration and after that the next step is to verify my configuration so I will go to here in Cali the other Cali um, in my uh, local network or inside so here if I open the browser and or terminal first I can ping I should ping 8888 so I have a ping to 8888 what about the other websites such as Google I don't have a Google what about my own website I don't even uh, have the any connections so maybe there's a DNS problem uh, because I didn't set the DNS here so what I can do here uh, just go to IPv4 and I add the 8888 and connect disconnect connect the connections so let's try my website first okay perfect so you can see my website now and what about the Google website yeah this is the Google so here to verify everything I can search anything in the Google so I hope this has been informative and thank you for watching